What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and today I'm going to be launching a brand new series on my channel that's going to go hand in hand with the Room Tour project. I'm announcing Save Our Setups, or SOS for short. The series where I give you guys genuine feedback and tips on how to improve your setup. I'm not going to be mean, I'm not going to be, you know, making fun of you. Just genuine tips that I think you guys could definitely take advantage of to make your setups better. Now, as the first episode of this series, obviously there's going to be a ton of room to grow from here on out as the series continues. And I want to hear all your thoughts, opinions, and feedback in the comment section down below on how to make this series better. Tell me if you like the format, some things you want to see changed up to make this setup improvement series uh, just as popular as Room Tour Project. And you know, we'll learn, we'll grow from here on out. And I'm really pumped for this series and I hope you guys are too. Now we're going to start it off. The first setup we're going to take a look at is one of my good friends, Ash. You guys all know Ash Taylor, hopefully. So we're going to take a look at his setup and give him some tips and feedback. So if I can't shoot any videos with all of that mess on the table, can you please just clean it? Oh, but it's taken me ages to get it like that. All right, okay. Hey guys, Ash here. So. I was complaining to Frank one day about how I wish I could be featured in his room tour projects, but felt it'd be pretty useless because I share a desk with this one. Well, let's just say I'm the clean one. I want a slick, clean setup, but her mess is continually giving me nightmares. So here I am, Frank, help me out, dude. Is there any way to make this work? Again, that was my good friend, Ash Taylor. If you haven't checked his stuff out, definitely go over to his channel, give him some love. As you saw from that little video, it was very cinematic and unique. His content is absolutely great. He's one of my favorite tech YouTubers. So go over and check out his channel. Uh, but he noted that he lives with his girlfriend. He shares the same setup as his girlfriend. And while I'm looking at the pictures right now, it looks pretty clean. So you probably have cleaned up a bit for this show. Um, you'd have a lot of good things going for you. And there's not going to be a lot of, you know, things to improve in terms of your overall, you know, like uh, gear and uh, peripherals and stuff like that. But I think I got some genuine tips that could definitely help you out here. First up are your studio monitors. I see you have probably the HS7s on each side of your, uh, your main monitor there, your main LG display. And while aesthetically it looks good with no foam or no mounts on it, um, I think you could definitely take advantage of some uh, some monitor isolation pads underneath. It's gonna do a few things. It's gonna make uh, it's gonna make them sound better in the end. Avoid a lot of vibration stuff like that on your desk since there is just nothing between the desk and the speakers itself. Uh, I would definitely improve that. Some things you could take a look at on Amazon. They have a ton of different monitor isolation pads. Uh, they come in at around you know $25 for a pair, so that's not too bad. But another way to improve those speakers while still staying true to a nice, simple setup look is these ISO acoustic stands. Uh, these are these little stands that you could adjust the height of for your speakers. I think they look really nice. The only problem is they're a little bit more money. Well, a lot more. It's around $110 right here. I'm looking for the stand itself but it's gonna keep them nice and elevated off of your desk. It's gonna isolate any vibrations or potential uh, interference, stuff like that with your desk itself. And overall, I think they look really cool. Number two, again, just looking at what you have here. Um, it seems that your peripherals are just, you know, staying on your desk. No mouse pad or anything like that. Your, your desk seems to have a, like a gritty surface. I'm not too sure, you know, what it is. It kind of looks like it's a, uh, like a grainy kind of gritty surface. Not too sure what kind of like, you know, what it's gonna be or if it's like a laminate desktop. But I would recommend, especially in your case, uh, with going along with that nice like blackish theme, to get a, a kind of a narrow desk mat. But they do sell a ton of these. You can get like the glorious ones that are kind of on the longer side, but it's gonna get the job done, gonna cover it. I feel like with this, with your desktop surface, it might be scratching up the bottom of your mouse. I know you do a lot with, you know, like video editing and stuff like that for schoolwork. So I, I'm, I'm scared to see the bottom side of that mouse. I would definitely recommend some sort of mouse pad uh, there are a ton of out there at great prices. I think picking one of those up would greatly improve your setup. I see you have some LEDs around your monitor, which is great. I love when setups have that nice backlighting, but kind of down by your monitor stand, it gets a little bit cluttered there. Seems to be a lot of cables. And again, understandably so, you have the speakers there, you have your audio interface, your mouse, your keyboard. Uh, let's see what we can take a look at to kind of improve that for you. All right, so what I'm looking at right here, are these I Got Tech cable clips and cord management system, uh, these little cord holders. I actually have a video on these in one of my cable management videos as well. 
But they're these little rubber pads pretty much that stick to your desk. They have a little uh, 3M sticky tape on the back. You can put them on the top of your desk, the side of your desk, underneath them. And I think in your case, you could take advantage of these. Uh, these do have a route for two of the cables to connect to. So maybe put one like behind uh, your mouse directly or right behind your, uh, your keyboard. That way you can have the keyboard cable and the mouse cable routing through there going straight back to the uh, the back of your desk. And as for stuff behind like the uh, the speakers and stuff from uh, your monitor itself, maybe put two of these on the back side of your desk so you can have those cables there routed down out of sight so it's not necessarily just coming straight down from your monitor. I think it would help clean up a bit. They are extremely cheap. You can find definitely knockoffs of these anywhere. But they get the job done. And uh, they're pretty simple as well, and they can go a long way because cable management is a big thing with setups. Either make or break it. In your case, it's not bad at all. I've seen it a lot worse. But I think these can definitely help you out, man. Okay, next is going to be a submission from X Joe. Now, I said in the beginning I'm not going to be mean. I'm just going to be giving genuine tips. But we got to find out what's going on here. All right, Joe, the first picture you sent me here, I don't know if this is a joke or not, but we have a desk, the monitor... You have a sock on your monitor, a shoe hanging off the side of your desk. Looks like the speakers are just knocked off, hanging off there. What is going on, man? You have underwear hanging off the back of your chair. Tons of clutter. There's cables, a, an FYE bag. Is that an FYE bag on top of your, your PC case? I don't think anyone shopped at FYE since like 2002. There's just a lot of stuff going on. I don't mind the stuff on the walls necessarily if you want to add some personality to your room. Uh, inside your PC, nothing flashy. Uh, I, I assume it's not a windowed panel, so you don't got to worry about that. Thank God your, uh, your lizard cage is nice and clean and organized. That's good. But back to your setup. It is just, it's way too messy. Again, I don't know if this is a joke or not, if you're just messing around. But you got to do some cleaning up. I think I even see some, are those like those D batteries on your desk? What even, what takes those anymore? First off, make your monitor straight facing you. Clear those socks off, clean the underwear, put them in a the drawer, put them in the hamper. Uh, the, the shoes gotta go, the speakers, put them back upright on your desk. Not a lot of desktop space for you. Your, your PC is right there to your right. Not a lot of arm room at all. So if you just want my tips, uh, the best thing I can do for you is just, just clean it up. Make it a lot more organized. If anything, get a new 24 inch monitor from Asus. Uh, they are very cheap now. You can get the nice 24 inch one, you know, one millisecond response time, full 1080p for like 120 bucks. Get that and possibly mount it. I'm not sure what panel that is you have there, but it looks kind of dated. Um, you don't have to up do or upgrade your PC or anything if you're not really into the whole like PC gaming landscape. If you're not doing you know, a lot of video editing or anything like that, you don't got to worry about upgrading your PC. But I think a new monitor would be a nice touch. You can get rid of that monitor stand. Uh, like I said, have the monitor mounted. But just the main thing is, just clean up that desktop, man. Do me a favor. Clean that up a little bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, next, we got KFC Kevin. Let's see what Kevin's got for us now. All right, so it's really not too bad here. It looks kind of nice. We got the LED lights around the monitor and the desk in the back. A nice vibrant background. The uh, RGB keyboards here with the Corsair Gaming K70. A nice uh, mouse as well with the Proteus Core. I'm not going to talk about too much of your uh, peripherals because that's not really what the show is going to be about, you know. Uh, but let's just talk about what we what you can improve here. In terms of your main setup, which we'll talk about first, um, I would possibly recommend doing a little bit of a less is more approach. You know, I don't mind the Assassin's Creed figure there. I think that's fine. Uh, you got your, your speakers there on each side. Looks like a photo of your son, perhaps. Maybe take that little jelly beans thing. Maybe put it somewhere else. I mean, yeah, it's a cool little desk accessory, but it, it's just adding a little bit of a necessary clutter here. Uh, the lamp, if you want to maybe like put it more out of your direct line of sight with your setup, maybe more. Looks like it's kind of wrapping around your desk, maybe like an L-shaped desk. Put a little bit off to the left there so you can kind of spread that light more evenly in your room. Since you have the LED lights, it's really not doing much in terms of adding light to your setup since it's pointed up. So you can always take that and uh, do what you please with it. But going over to your entertainment setup here, you have the big TV. That's looking like maybe a 47 to 50 inch TV there. Very large for your little entertainment setup over here. Uh, the cable management, this is where it kind of goes downhill. Uh, you can't really do much about the whole little power outlet off there to the right. That's where a lot of your power source is going to come from. I assume you can't like reroute that anywhere, so that's fine. But you, you, you appear to have like maybe five or six cables coming down clear in sight from the bottom of your TV. Um, again, if you are, I don't know your current situation. I don't know if you're renting or if this is a, your house. 
I would recommend drilling a hole behind your TV and towards the bottom of your entertainment setup so you could wrap those cables nicely through uh, in the back of your wall so they're gonna be out of sight and not seen at all. But if you can't do that, then we're gonna go for a much more uh, simple and affordable approach that is not gonna be permanent. There are things out there like this uh, this super long 114 inch neoprene cable sleeve that you can use to put all those cables in. You can get it in either white or black. I recommend white to fit in with the color of your wall. Just wrap them down in a kind of a tube so you're not seeing them. Or even for a much more flush look with your wall, uh, check out this wire molds uh, cord mate 2 kit. It is a much more like a flat kind of a device that's gonna hide your cables. You can just put them behind there. You put this uh, kind of like channel over the cables so it'll come down in a straight line look really nice like i said it'll fit in with the walls uh, look a lot better and won't be as much as an eyesore as it currently is so i hope these help you out as well all right next up from monster gaming we have three simple photos here that's good uh, it's not looking too bad a nice simple kind of minimalistic look again but there are definitely some ways you can improve here and the first thing that i see immediately are those those speakers off to the left side of your setup uh, they're really not in a current setup or a current orientation where you're going to be taking advantage of that audio. It seems you have the two like LED, uh, it's kind of like visualizer lights there, but they're just side by side facing one direction. I would put one on each side of your speaker, obviously, uh, since you kind of have it off to, you have, you have the, the right monitor off to the side angling in towards you. It is going to be kind of a tricky setup, but in terms of where the speaker driver actually is, I think if you put uh, one on the left side of that main monitor and one behind your monitor on the right side, you're still gonna be getting a better audio experience than you would with this over here, where it's kind of out of your, your sight. It's not gonna be you know delivering the best audio towards you since you're gonna be sitting around three feet to the right of it anyways. And this is a pretty nice and long desk. I don't know why you're kind of limiting yourself and just using that right side. Uh, granted, you're sitting in the middle, but I feel like you're just wasting a lot of that space over there to the left and using it for like, you know, optional devices and extra peripherals. I would recommend putting both of those monitors right in front of you. That way you can free up some of that arm space off to the right where your monitor currently is. And just, just take a look at it. These, these are two different monitors, possibly even different sizes as well. Um, I'm, I'm not a big fan of that at all. I would recommend two of the same monitors, you know, put these on Craigslist or something like that. See if you could sell them for cheap and pick up two new monitors of the same brand, the same size. It's going to help the looks uh, aesthetically a lot better in the end for your setup. And if this kind of looks like a college dorm room, possibly, again, not 100% sure. I understand you can't do much with mounting this. It looks like a cement wall, possibly. Uh, so you're going to be limited in terms of that and freeing up a much more simple look. Uh, but you do have it propped up on like some sort of box. Your right monitor is propped up. Uh, you, can, you can get really nice and cheap uh, monitor mounts. I showed off one in my, my video series, uh, Top Tech Under 50, yesterday for one that was around $40. But I think you here, since your monitor and your peripherals are black, uh, if you want to fit in with the theme, uh, Sateki has a very nice and simple $20 monitor stand. Pick up two of them, put your monitors both on that. You can even store those peripherals off to the left side underneath that stand since it is wide enough. I think it's just going to drastically improve the look of your setup. And the last setup for the first episode of SOS comes from Luca, I believe is how you pronounce it. And we have a triple monitor set up here. We have the speakers on each side, some soda cans, the keyboard. And okay, okay. There's, there's a lot of good things going here. Thankfully, not a lot of, you know, things that's going to ruin it. I got some good tips for you that I think could help you out. First thing I want to point out is that desk is incredible. You have a ton of room on the left and right hand side still. You seem to be using that corner of that L-shaped desk. And that, that's not a bad idea because you're taking advantage then of that surround kind of vision with the three monitors um, in front of you and on the side of you. So that looks pretty good. And I see for your peripherals, you're going with the Razer theme here and you have your mouse plugged into the side of your Black Widow keyboard. Again, keeping that cable management nice and organized. So good job on that. But the thing that sticks out to me, it's kind of throwing me off here are your perca colas that you got set up here uh right underneath your monitors and in front of your peripherals here i think the colors look really cool i assume they're a diy so you did a great job making them and of course you want them on display but they kind of just don't fit in right in the middle of your setup now i mentioned there's a ton of room to the left and right of your setup that's not being used so why not put those perca colas over there i think it would look a lot better it would free up a lot of room in front of your monitors 
and it would just look a lot cleaner. That can be your kind of dedicated Call of Duty Perca Cola section that you could add uh, future Call of Duty related things uh, there as well. And like I mentioned with Ash's setup, uh, those speakers there, they are sitting directly on your desk and I don't recommend that. Pick up, if, even for you, if you don't want to spend a lot of money here, just those sound isolation pads, those little rubber ones or whatever. Uh, you can get those for like 20 bucks and just, just get them off the desk. I think you're going to help, that's going to help you out a lot. Now for your monitors, uh, you have two Acer ones on the left and right side with a BenQ one in the middle. Again, if it means anything to you, it's just my personal recommendation, but I can't stand when there are three separate monitors. In this case, two separate ones, but since you have three, it's, it's visibly noticeable and it's, it's, it's kind of sticking out to me. I assume you like that BenQ one better, so why not get three BenQs? Ooh, but now that I'm looking at it behind those uh, Perca Cola bottles where your monitors and stuff are coming down, there is a bit of a, a bunch there of your cables. Like I recommended a little bit ago with that, uh, that little sleeve you can get for your cables, kind of route it down. I don't think the like the, the cord mate kit would be good for you since that's more flat and meant to be mounted to the wall. Just get one of those cable management sleeves, put them around there, and it should look a lot better. And the last thing for Luca here is that headphone stand. That's kind of creepy, man. I know it's like a mannequin kind of doll head, probably used for like cosmetology and stuff. But it's just creepy up there, sitting on the desk, and I look at it, and it's just freaking me out. If I, walked in, if I walked into your room and I saw it there, it would freak me out. And if that's where you're keeping your headphones, it seems to be up and out of the way, up on that shelf there. Uh, why not get a wooden Omega headphone stand, or maybe even like a clear acrylic headphone stand, off to the side, and have it there so it looks nicer, it's going to be more at arm's reach, it'll fit in with your setup. And again, you just have so much room here. There's so much room on the left and right of your setup. Gotta utilize that, man. I'm telling you, I think you'll like it a lot better. And that mannequin's just gonna freak me out for a while. All right, guys, so that is the first episode of SOS, or Save Our Setups. I hope you enjoyed. And like I said, if you have any, you know, constructive feedback, criticism, anything you wanna know on how to possibly, you know, improve this for here on out in future episodes, give me some stuff down below. You know, drop me your comments. Let me know what you think. If you liked it, if you want to see more of this setup become more this more of this series become more regular on my channel, hit that thumbs up button to show your support. I think this could definitely become a popular series on my channel. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And as we get more, you know, more experience down the line, I will tell you guys on how to submit your setups to be on a future episode of SOS. Well, guys, if you haven't already, please hit me up on Twitter at randomfrankp. You can follow me on there for a little channel sneak peeks and stuff like that. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. You're not going to want to miss out on any future episodes of Room Tour Project or SOS. So don't miss out. Make sure you're subscribed. I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.